this was the first time I did this, so let's see how that goes. Because maybe the video was too long. I sh my analytics say my videos should be under 12 minutes. Girl, I barely managed to say hello to everybody in 12 minutes. I'm not the type of person who can put in a whole freaking concept in 12 minutes. Like, YouTube is killing me with their freaking algorithm. I swear to God. Uh, yeah, Ralph Simmons is cool, Kate, Katie. Yeah. I like when we work it out together, right? Wasn't Hatsune Miko the OG hologram pa I don't know. I don't care. Hologram, whatever. Prada is giving nada. That says Jesus, right? Mikey says, get comfortable, girl. Thank you. Person Mars says, the bunker productions. I know, we're so ratchet. Mr. Phillips says, well, Simmons did the hologram first. Oh, no. Who's he? I don't even know these people, you guys. Whatever. Um, anyway. I know, Jack, 12 minutes is nothing, but it's like, oh, God. And I got another, by, by fruit fly, I don't mean this time like a troll, but on the perfume channel, literally, somebody with the attention span of fruit fly is like, oh, my God, it took you 30 minutes to review a perfume. Don't click on the freaking video. You see how long it is? It says always in the bottom corner right there. It says how long the video is. You see a perfume video, 30 minutes long. Don't freaking click on it. Why do you click on it and then post 50 comments under the video saying this was too long. This was too long. Like, just F off, you know, go watch one minute videos. Go watch Jeremy Fragrance one minute videos. The Picky Ricky. Love you, Deco. Can you do a video on why you hate Gucci? Oh, honey, I don't hate anybody. But how can I do a video on, on somebody I don't know? Who is she? Hello, Gustavo. Candy Fluff, unrelated, but love the purple in the back. Thank you. It's the Jacob in between. I love your long videos. Thank you, Gustavo. No, there are people, you know. <laughs> I can't. Jeremy is the steroid talking freak. Oh my God, do not shoot the messenger though. I'm just reading your comments and laughing at them. Am I allowed to laugh? Is that cancelable? Am I cancelable because I laughed at that comment? Which was kind of held for review, but I think it can be, it, it, it can be released. You know, Nenea, apologies for my language. Madison, I saw perfume review videos under 40 seconds. Wow. Sorry, dude. Like, I my farts are not that short either. Like, how can I? <laughs> how can I think under forty seconds? You know what I mean? No, you can't laugh. It's true, says Kev. Oh my God, you guys, Cassiope. Hello, everyone. Jacob, you look so fresh. Thank you so much. Uh, Mike. Oh no, Jesus. I can't read your name. <laughs> Mikey Roch. Okay, I'm just gonna call you Mikey. Um, cha. You know, it took me a minute, more than a minute last week when we were doing all these names and then like Mike, Roch, and all those other names that popped into the chats. You guys. Five second perfume review. It smells bad, says Gwen. Katie says, I finally found out the scents I like today. Oh, good. Sobi says, random question, what do you think of mulberry bags? I don't think of them. Um, not being shady or nothing, I just really don't. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm too busy. I'm not really shopping for bags at the moment. Um, you know what? I'm really proud to say I'm too busy enjoying the ones I have. And you're not going to hear any luxury YouTuber ever say that. Because they're always too busy hunting down the next bag. I'm literally sitting here when I'm not working and I'm looking at my baglets and I'm like, oh, they're so nice. They give me so much joy. You know, I'm very satiated. I have to say the very satiated, very, very fulfilled, very, very happy, very happy. You know, for example, right now. So as you guys I have a table here, right? So I have my makeup in here. I know it's not a bag. OK, it's a push toilet, right? But um, I have all my makeup to refresh during the live stream. I, all, I put it all here. I unboxed this just a couple of weeks ago, remember, or a week ago or two. And I use it on a daily basis, and I'm, it makes me so happy. Just having it laid down here in front of me. I take it with me through the house everywhere I go. <laughs> my makeup is in my creams are in there. It just gives me joy. And, uh, you know, really enjoying it. So... But I have heard that Mulberry has good quality, but I wouldn't know because I don't have any of their bags. 
Yeah, the name change. I know, Jesus changed name. It, it was a showstopper. A showstopper. <laughs> hey, Bay says 40 seconds. That's a long fart. Oh, yes. Listen, I might not be very tonal when I sing, but wh whatever I lack in when it comes to singing, I compensate with the farting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my farts are like Pavarotti. Adi Adi. Alejandra Valdez, hello from Texas. Well, hello, my love. Welcome. Welcome to the rodeo. Uh, KDF says, Jacob inspired me to find the language. <laughs> hey, Bay says, that's a long... Oh, I read that one already, right? Jeremy... Okay, so Cav says, uh, Jeremy reviewing perfumes and dropping the bottles and tops and calling them sexy or saying they make him horny. Yuck. If somebody drops them like that, somebody might also sit on them. <laughs> That's a whole lot of sexual can of worms. We don't want to open right now. Matthew, darling, we live for long fragrance reviews. Honey, oh, thank you so much. Well, you're going to get a couple today. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The leather is good with mulberry, says Katie. Misita says, uh, my Sita says, Jacob, do you like Bulgari? Sorry, that's chat just jumped on me um do i like bulgari something i didn't catch if it was perfumes bags watches jewelry bulgari bags uh not my cup of tea i'm not a big fan of their snake heads i like snakes but their snake heads are a little bit too like hey look my snake head is encrusted with diamonds crystals jewelry topaz this and that. i'm like yeah 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 no. you know Sobe, Sobe says, great news. Oh, great answer, Jacob. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you. I love admiring my luxury things, says Cav. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It brings me joy. It brings me joy. It really does. It really does. I mean, having said that, of course, I have a couple of unboxings coming today. So there you go. I just farted on my own statement. But who says they're bag unboxings, right? Jack says, we loved to study the objects. In detail, in, or as we like to say it, in detail. Uh, I will not use Mike Hunt. Oh my God, Debs, if you change your name to Mike Hunt, I swear to God, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I, I won't be, I'll just be laughing through, through life. <laughs> and I'm falling off my own chair. We would like to see your makeup retouching. Do, yeah, 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 I do that throughout the live stream, you guys. You know, I, I powder myself. <laughs> Mike says, uh, shall I change it to Michael Taurus? You almost got me there, Jesus. Cinderella says, is your pouch made in France or Spain? My dear, you have to watch the video of the unboxing. I have, I have one from seven years ago made in France. This one is made in Spain. Brand new. Just bought a couple of weeks ago. In love with it. Although, I got to say, the leather is thinner. This thing is thinner, okay? Um, there is, on the new uh, pouches, like the zipper pull back here doesn't have a little stamp. The old ones made in France have a little stamp. So I have the feeling they're cheaping out, things are becoming thinner, but still loving it. It's still very sturdy. It's still perfection for me. Um, I just love it. And I literally bought it to really use it, not to baby it, not to covet it, but just to use the shit out of it. So let's see how this one holds up with time. It's a cosmetic pouch. I want to enjoy it as a cosmetic pouch. Gwen Lee says, top three brands to shop that isn't Louis Vuitton, Hermes Chanel. Anyone got any recommendations? Top three bag brands. Okay. Vivian Westwood, Versace. And East Pack. <laughs> Delphine Red says, hello, Jacob, everyone. How are you? Do you uh, rehearse your video segments or is it impro most of all besides your notes? It's improvised. I have my notes, but it's all improvised. It's all improvised. Yeah, it's all improvised. I prepare my topics. Uh, if there are some photos I have to prepare, I cue them in a line so that they can pop up here like the chat is popping up here and that that's how it goes and then i improvise i go with the flow you know uh yeah so yeah um 
Candy Fluff, these names, I know they keep changing the names. <laughs> Jesus, I will never, Vitamin D was bad enough. Deb's Vitamin vitamin D was a highlight, was a highlight. Uh, Gabby says, is uh, Sophie's last video there, in, in Sophie's last video, there was a 255 Tiny Mini in gold. I haven't seen it. Cav says, Jacob, you should scroll through Purse Forum in the 2000s. They were so mean for no reason. They're still so mean. I mean, they're so mean to me. <laughs> I wonder why. Is it because I don't do an unboxing every day? I don't unbox a new bag every day for them, for their delight, for their pleasure, or because I dare monetize my videos? How dare I monetize my videos? Their entertainment should be for free. Debbie says, no scripts here. That's right, Debs. I'll change my name to Wayne King. Oh my God, Audrey. <laughs> oh, you guys, you're killing me. Cap says, this is problematic, but I like the look of older Louis Vuitton bags where you know it's vintage. I love them too. They're prone to cracking if they're not treated properly. This one is much more soft. Uh, this new type of canvas that they use, which I think might do the bag some good. But I'll let you know with time, you know. Right. May says, also La Prada's quality, their Safiano leather is so underrated and, and very durable. Although I have heard a lot of people saying that their Safiano, especially on the borders where it's folded or bent, it pro it's prone to cracking after some time. So, hmm. I feel like the new canvas on Louis Vuitton pieces is so much thinner than the old one. It is, Kate. But it's also more malleable. It's softer. Like, what the hell? You know what I mean? This hair, though. Sha, I can't. Um, Susie Q, how you doing, my love? I've never bought a Bulgari bag until last month. The leather is amazing, but I understand the snakehead isn't everyone's thing. Yeah. I, sure, Italians know their leather, okay? Italians know their leather. And Bulgari knows it's jewelry, okay? Bulgari knows it's jewelry. It just feels like a novelty to me to combine the snake jewelry as, like... They do have a couple limited edition versions where the snake head is really made out of platinum. The eyeballs of the snake are diamonds. The whole thing is then really jewelry. Haute, haute joyalerie. Or uh, alta joyalleria. But, and that I get, you know. But it's that in between where I'm like, Bulgari, what are you doing? Uh, it's that kind of where the snake head is enameled and metal and... You know, I'm like, okay, then just, I'm not saying I'm a snob. I want the snakehead to be in platinum. No, I'm saying just take the snakehead off. I would love a Bulgari bag without the snakehead. Just a beautiful leather bag. You don't need the the the, the bejeweled, the, the bedazzled, just to prove that you're Bulgari. You know what I mean? Um, you could do some wonderful leather without having that snakehead. But if you want to do the jewel snakehead, well, then do it Bulgari style. Make it a real jewel, uh, which they also do do. But, uh, yeah. It's a little bit like the issue that I have with the Gucci bags. Is it the Marmont bag? I don't know what the name of it is, but the one that has that huge buckle thing on it the, the snake thing again snakes italians and snakes what gives but um eh, you know whatever le marie chanel vivian westwood or prada katie says Ooh, i have between chanel and vivian of course you know chanel but also vivian i have a lot of vivian bags a lot of my vivian bags and they're much cheaper girl vivian westwood bags are like fifty thousand times cheaper than chanel Gary says, it's because you don't unbox a McBurkin every week. No, I don't. Like, I just lost a hair. Hold on, let me... So irritating. These hairlets, they're just like floating around because, you know. I'm not going to read that. <laughs> yeah, oh my God. You guys, your names. I can't read that stuff. Cap says, the gag is people on purse forum are parents and using their divorce money for handbags. Of course, and they're just bored. So they go to the purse forum to write shit. New home sales, Charlotte says, just, says, just subscribe. Thank you for subscribing. 
Sharon Cole, I love that Louis Vuitton pouch. When my husband comes upstairs, I'm going to let him buy me Jacob's pouch. I have also seen a hoodie I want that Jacob made. Oh, thank you so much, Sharon, for getting the hoodie. The p and the pouch. I also have this pouch, you guys. Check it out. The Super Jacob Desiccant. Not a desiccant, but desiccant pouch. Get it now. Much. And you get 10% sale right now um until i think i don't know until when just a couple of days more on the teespring website for my merch you get 10 percent off uh if you use the coupon code sunset all spelled in capital letters all spelled together sunset i posted it on my instagram uh the or in my community tab my community tab here on youtube i also posted the guidelines like the dates the limitations up until when you have time to get the 10 percent off of the merch and of course now i am going through my instagram because i forgot the date the final date you get the 10 percent off promo code sunset valid uh thursday september 2nd through tuesday night september 7th 11 59 p.m pacific time you can also get the fanny bag, the super dick fanny bag, which has like 50 pockets inside. I was so shocked when the sample arrived. It's a pocket in the back, because we know you have one in the back. It's a pocket in the front. And then there's like the main po the main compartment. This is the production tag. Then it has another compartment, the net compartment here. You got a little Bert. <laughs> you don't get the Bert not included. Then you get a back pocket with a zipper and in front of the back pocket you get credit card compartments as well it's like insane how many pockets this tiny thing has anyway you can get that as well talk about bags um jana says the thing that baffles me about uh, the purse form is that uh they're made because you might have critiques of others but they stay critiquing you wait they're mad because you might have critiques of others, but they keep on critiquing you. Yeah, of course, it's the double standard. It's just a bunch of Karens wanting to see the manager. <laughs> well, bitch, I am the manager. So the buck stops here. Jack says, have you watched the show Secrets of the Museum? Uh, it's the Victorian Albert Museum. They do a lot of... Thank you for subscribing. They do a lot of cool fashion conservation, a nice relaxing watch. I might have, but not lately. Lately, I've just been stressed. <laughs> Rich Mitch says, got two fragrance in my sights. Oh, you're going to purchase two? KDF says, Loewe is also quality. Of course, Bottega Veneta is also quality, but I'm kind of trying to combine like something that's covetable for me, but at the same time, quality. And I really think... Versace nails it in terms of quality. Their designs aren't always the best, but some are really cute. Vivian has great prices, amazing quality, and they don't overproduce their pieces. And then Eastpac does, has been doing some killer collaborations lately. They don't break the bank, very durable bags. Eastpac is kind of cool. Cav says, jewelry brands making handbags is so weird to me. Like Cartier and Tiffany and Co. Like, what do they know about handbags? Well, they also do perfume. Well, they hire companies to do perfumes for them, but yeah. Katie says, in my honest opinion, the new Cartier bags that look like the box are embarrassing. They've been making those for years, Katie. It's it's the golden little ornamental framing that they do in the bags that make them look really cringe. Nonea Biss says, Jacob, 100% agreed. You need to get past the money grab scheme to sell it to me. Right? Julie says, I have Bulgari jewelry, but nothing with the snake. It doesn't matter, Julie. Bulgari has wonderful jewelry, even without the snake. You know. Cav says, I want to shop at the row, but even their t-shirts are like $600. I know, those twins. They're really on a money binge, aren't they? VJ Love says, the Yonisus bags. Yes, thank you. The Gucci ones with the little snakelets. Yeah. Uh, Susie Q, everything is cheaper than Chanel now. I know, which which makes me worried because 
sometimes I stop myself and I say, wait, Jacob, no, you're comparing everything to Chanel. That's wrong. Other brands are also still expensive. You just think they're super cheap because they're like 10 times cheaper than Chanel. But I don't make them cheap. It's just that Chanel has brainwashed us. Those Birkins in the old lady colors, I can't. Right, Katie? Old Palm City says, I love snakehead clasp and Bulgari bags are stunning. Their shape is really beautiful. I mean, I gotta hand it to them. They really know their shapes. But in Italians, no class, aesthetics, proportions. Italians really know how to make their proportions, right? They really do. They have a really good sense. How can they not? They live in the most beautiful country in the world. Their architecture that's centuries and centuries old just inspires them on a daily basis. You just step out of your freaking house and you got a museum in front of you every day. You imagine being raised... And, and growing up in such an environment, of course, you're born into proportions. You're born into the sense of aesthetics. So, of course, it's part of their culture, you guys. Italians know their proportions. No matter what they do, they know how to do it good. It looks good. They really know their aesthetic. I mean, you know, hands down, you know. Anyway, Katie says, I don't like the way the leather absorbs the color. Of which brand? Anna McWerther, my Louis Toiletry 15 arrived today. Congratulations, Anna. Whoop, whoop to the Louis 15. Jonna says, my desiccant pouch is my makeup bag in my purse right now. Yay! That's the one. The Super Jacob desiccant pooch. Trust Super Jacob, use a desiccant. <laughs> Hi, Jacob. What do you think of the new YSL vintage bag? I uh, haven't seen it. I uh, haven't seen it. Frozen Luxury, how you doing, Saya? Jacob for the new creative director of the Purse Forum. <laughs> oh my God, we would fire a couple of people, wouldn't we? <laughs> anyway, so bye. Thanks for watching.